All right, so for the longest time, we have been looking at getting some K trucks or some mini trucks, whatever you want to call them. But in order to get them, you have to like ship them overseas. It's a real big pain in the ass. Anyways, what are the odds? I'm driving down the road one day to go to my favorite store. A mile down the road from where I live, there's four of them for sale on a trailer. I couldn't believe it. So anyways, we're going over there right now and we're gonna buy three of them. Are they breakable? Buddy, That's for it. you, anything here we go, breakable. Here we go. Oh, nice, right side drive. Shift it with your left hand, unbelievable. These things are just so funny to me. I hope I fit in these things. They don't make guys in China like you. No. <laughs> They're not built like you in China, Ken. They're like half my size. <laughs> it's like a normal size truck for me. You aren't gonna fit in this nice out here. Hey, we still haven't given you the check yet if that thing falls. These things aren't cheap. Are you sure this is gonna clear? We'll be gone, so <laughs> that's your problem. Take a good long look at what this truck looks like right now. It's pretty nice, isn't it? <laughs> you might like destroy him, huh? Wow. Oh, no, but it just might happen. No, I'm gonna take care of this one. It's gonna be a good track rig, you know, getting back and forth. If I have to load up the John Deere in the back, gas cans, it's plenty of utility. I'm not gonna ruin this one. Ken actually doesn't fit in it. I'm just gonna break that off and I'm good. Dude, Evan fits in this thing perfect. <laughs> I'll go to first. It is first. Of course, Ken's had to be bump started. It looks so funny going down the road. You can literally drive them next to each other. I can't find third. I don't know where third's at. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what an absolutely majestic sight. With the sunset in the background, dude. I can't explain to you guys how funny it looks rolling down the road. It looks like you're you're just in golf carts. How is it? I couldn't find third gear. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but <laughs> Ken's still working on a shifting. Mine well, runs great. Is it? Except for there was one that kept just going so slow. What am I gonna do? I can't. I, I have two gears. What? I, it has five. I don't know. I couldn't find third. <laughs> he lost it. We should probably run premium in these, fellas. I'd say. Ken gave me his card as declined. Well, there's always room on the other card. You run out of credit, just open a new card. That's how the best do it. Hey. <laughs> that dude is such a menace. I'm in a menace, fans! Bro, what is Ken doing? <laughs> Yeah, it's Ken's fault. I can barely touch the brake with my foot the way these pedals are. Ken's foot is touching the brake, the gas, and the clutch. <laughs> <laughs> Sideways. <laughs> they, they just did the way. They just did. That was their dad. The K truck dad. <laughs> these are too funny. something funny about like it's like one's funny two is funnier but three is just hilarious you know people around here when they see that they got to know something's up or somebody yeah. famous is in town you're like what is going on here it's like a motorcade dude we're the president and these are our secret yeah. service i approve of this purchase <laughs> These things are amazing. When you go off road, <laughs> you guys are menaces in these things. <laughs> Bro, when you were off road, it was bouncing. Yeah, it feels super solid for like as much as it's bouncing. It feels yeah. like it can handle it. I was pretty I, impressed by that. Ev, 
I thought you were gonna roll right there, so the fact that you didn't kind of shows that they're kind of sturdy little units. Dude, super sturdy. I never was nervous at all. These things are so tiny, it like legit reminds me of the smart cars back in the day. The best vehicles we've had. I know that this doesn't really have any weight behind it, but I feel like it needs to be said. Let's try and make this last uh, at least through the day, but preferably through the video. I'm looking forward to running this rest of the summer. Maybe this fall. Uh, I, that's also what she said about the WRX. Oh, oh shit, this is a Subaru. Oh. <laughs> I don't think we can put him in this. I'm just gonna write that off right now. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like these are just Chinese golf carts. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, dude, can you imagine mobbing around a golf course in those? Reckless Golfing 5? You could probably blend in. What do you think of those rigs? What in the hell are they? They're Chinese muscle. It's like American muscle, but the opposite. Yeah. That was a little too fast. Ow, that hurt. Man, these things are little wrecking balls. They've taken quite a beating in the last 20 minutes. They're pretty tough, I gotta say. I need a push. Way too good. Dude, they're like little mini rock crawlers. I'm not sure if I go quite that far. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so these things look like they're ready to front flip just by sitting here. So uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a front flip roll cage that goes on the front, over the top, and then down the back with enough curves so you should be able to hit the brakes, somersault, land back on the wheels, and drive away. All right, so this is what we got so far. It's fairly difficult to bend a 12-foot piece of metal into a six-foot diameter. So Big Ranch is basically just notching it out and then re-welding it. But uh, he's fairly confident that this isn't gonna work as well as we have it played out in our heads. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna prove him wrong. I don't know how we're gonna do that yet, but we're gonna try to. Brian is just finishing up on the first roll bar. Only one more to go and this thing should be ready to flip. But we wanna give a shout out to Celsius. We love Celsius over here. It's like the only drink we drink around the shop. So if you guys have not given it a try, head on out, get yourself a can, and we're sure you'll like it. <laughs> For a second I thought you thought maybe it was empty. Like what the? You missed your mouth and hit yourself square in both eyes. <laughs> All right, she's done. Dude, I can't tell if it looks incredibly stable or incredibly sketchy, but <laughs> this thing's got enough bracing on it to flip like a full-size F-150, I feel like. I don't know why people put roll bars on the inside of their vehicles. <laughs> Way better on the outside. Yeah, if you put like one more or two more on the sides, you'd be able to tip it on the side and be fine. Like you'd never damage the body panel. So we figured the stock seatbelt might be a little sketchy, so Four point harnesses should do the job. Now the only thing is to figure out who's doing it.
can I? I gotta do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't wanna do this. Until it goes incredibly well. If it goes smoothly, then I'll hop in passenger. Yeah, Evan wasn't too convinced that we needed the harnesses. I mean, it's a small cab, you're packed in it tight. Where are you gonna go? Hold on, where's Ken? I asked Ken if he wanted to do this since he had experience rolling this direction and he said he'd already done it once and it was good. All right, let's do it. Where do you think we should do it? I'm kind of thinking on this landing. God, I really hate that Evan's my stunt advisor right now. <laughs> All right, so basically the theory here is that if Ben is going downhill and he hits the brake, it should have enough force to basically roll him into a somersault. So we're, right now we're trying to figure out which jump would be the best one for it. As soon as your rear wheels clear the lip, then yeah. hit the brake. I think that's fine. I think if anything, maybe hitting the brake slightly sooner than you're thinking. I don't think you want to be waiting so long. I think when you feel that front end dip over the edge of the lip, just bury the brakes. Well, listen, to none of us do what you feel, buddy. You're the professional here. <laughs> I'm the professional, huh? <laughs> All right. It's gotta be nerve wracking having to do it multiple times. Ah! Lots of speed! Does he know where the rev limiter is on that thing? Yeah, that's why he hasn't blown it up yet. I feel like that was pretty close, huh? Yeah. That, that's actually as close as you could have been. I don't think you could teeter as long as you did ever again. It legit felt like eternity. Yeah. I was like, I was like, not sure where I'm at, but I've been there for a little bit. How did it feel, Ben? Did it hurt? Honestly, everything felt fine besides for being upside down for about a minute. All right, cool. All right, after I, oof, I don't know, sixth rendition of ramp changes and probably 30 tries. It's been a process to get to here, hopefully, this For the love it. of God, this one works. <laughs> I'm starting to feel sore just watching you, so. All right. Let's get this over with. I'll try. <laughs> Three miles an hour faster, this time you roll. <laughs> That's what I keep hearing. Ev, is this your dad? It might be. <laughs> All right, here we go. This one's for you, Japanese man, that probably used this truck to deliver flowers. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go! Oh my god! Yeah! 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 Okay! I'm never doing that again, I'm so sore! <laughs> it was oh, so brutal. How was that landing? Oh, what, what brutal. Like, no, you definitely it, earned that one. Yeah, that I, was crazy. I, I go to, as far as to say that's like the most earned stunt on the channel because there's no way we've done anything that many tries. Wow. I might be the stunt man. You might be, I'm bro. I'm retiring. I'm retiring. I'm hanging it up. I'm hanging it up. It's amazing what you do. I don't know what you're talking about because I'm not doing anything like that. Now that it's said and done, that was a bad idea. <laughs> that was just really dumb. Yeah. That was just a bad I idea. I that on Monday. <laughs> I think that's why you knew you had to do it because you came up with it. Yeah. You couldn't put that on anyone else. No, that's how bad. Oh no, yeah, yeah. I had to do it. You got the big biscuit. Going round two, huh, Ken? Fuck. <laughs> this really has been the summer of Ken's water sports. What else has there been? Uh, wet bikes. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Ken, we're just trying to find your thing. This is about the only water sport we can get Ken to do anymore, <laughs> other than drinking on it. So this is called an e-foil. You run it with this little trigger here and it foils out of the water. Might be the most entertaining thing I've ever seen Ken do. To date, hardest I've ever laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It is. 
Oh uh, yeah, I've got an electric surfboard. Well, we might need lessons. Have you done it before? I can do it in a heartbeat, guaranteed. Well, I'm hop on. Am I being really absolutely out of my mind, right? Well, no, this is a like once right. and right. Really amazing if, opportunity. If they'll once take you, should go. Dude's talking a pretty big game. He said he can solve them ski. Ken, if he can do it and you can, it's gonna be a tough break. I know. Right. <laughs> don't wait up for me, guys. Don't, don't wait up for me. <laughs> I think you're up. Uh, not, not yet. Somebody else go first. You want to go? Do you want me to go? I think you should. Are these things breakable? <laughs> this is a rental, right? It is you motors, yeah. That's fine. Then we don't got to fix it. <laughs> is that how this works? Just keep breaking stuff and someone else fixes it. I was just got the dream job, man. Have you took swimming lessons, right? Something like that. <laughs> Ev can pretty much do anything, as you guys have seen, but uh, the dude doesn't know how to swim. So water sports aren't really his forte. <laughs> <All right. laughs> momentum is your friend. To go faster? Yeah. It's just like riding a bike, the forward momentum is your friend. Faster, get off the water. Faster. Feel the glide. And now go faster. <laughs> Try to look cooler while you're doing it. Like this. Come on out. Hang loose, buddy. <laughs> OMG. Once you get this down, it simulates bird flight like no other. Really? It, no other, like no other device that has been made in mankind. It, Not even a uh, does it simulate bird flight? What? <laughs> Tom's down the liquor. <laughs> you done? It's not broken yet, so it doesn't feel right quitting, but... Tom, you're up! I'm gonna get wet. <laughs> <laughs> We've talked a pretty big game here, but you gotta set a good example for Ken. Okay. Let's see what you got. <laughs> here we go. Don't hit the boat. <laughs> <laughs> and you feel like a bird, Tom? Tom, 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 Tough look. Bob, you're killing it, buddy. Forward. Full front foot. Come here, Tom. Tom, you look like our mini truck. <laughs> Good job, Tom. Not bad, man. You had heart out there. Yeah. Get in the game. I don't know if I'm ready for this. <laughs> Gave me a nice little smack to the shin last year. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> Whatever you do, Ken, don't let your balls fall out. Oh no, these shorts are good. Those get tangled in the prop. They'll never take the board back. <laughs> we'll lose the deposit. <laughs> you got this, bro. All right, Ken, remember everything we talked about. Feel the fly. Simulates bird flight. It's just like riding a bike. Get off the water! I don't remember shit. <laughs> Ken's shorts become see through when they get wet. What's this guy trying to pull on us? <laughs> I don't like to laugh because he's trying his hardest. <laughs> He's doing a pretty good job. Don't tell him, but I turned the trigger sensitivity all the way up. It's way harder to ride. It just feels like it's just never enough. Oh! Yeah! Dude, he get high dived off that thing. If this is a dismount competition, he's winning, dude. You go, you go for biggest air, Ken? No. Biggest error. <laughs> Yeah! Yes! He's got his feet so close together. Oh! 
Most people need to be foiling to feel like they're doing it. He got standing, it was like he won the Super Bowl. What this really is is a redemption for Ken to actually conquer this. Like yeah. he was so close last time, you know? And I think it was heartbreaking, but heart touching at the same time because he just would not quit. He came back around a whole year later just to conquer this, you know? Come on, Ken, you got it. Let's go! There you go! Yeah! Yes! Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Dude, that was awesome! Ken, once again, you stole the show. I don't know about that. You did, dude. You stole the show. There's a ride out going on. It's more of a scooter ride out, but we don't have scooters, so we're bringing it's the pit charity, bike man. close enough. But yeah, U Motors is putting on. It's called Scooters for Tumors. We came and did it last year, and it was it was a good time. So we had to come back and do it again. Obviously, basically, it's just like a good group of people, and uh, you just mob around the town. Everyone else is riding scooters. We're just the hoodlums on pit bikes. bikes. Like, yeah. You know, I don't know if that flies, but we're gonna let it slide today. <laughs> man, my pit bike is trash. I never even ride it, but everybody else crashes it. Fire's right up though, it's a Honda baby. You still got it! I haven't seen CJ wheelie in a minute. I didn't know if you could still wheelie. Yeah, yeah, I can still wheelie. We're rolling pretty deep, we're trying to just stay right in the middle. <laughs> it's our safety zone. We got Mike Lee in the back up here, man. Mike lives for this shit. Big Ken is, and two, 